Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Emeka. I'm back with another reaction video, man. Today we are reacting to the sport cricket. Now, I've heard of it. I know it's slightly a little similar to baseball um, in that they they hit a ball. You know, that's I, I, that might be the only similarity. I don't really know how it's played. I know it's big in England, I believe, and I know it's big in India. Uh, more countries around India as well. So l let me know other countries that, that you know that love the sport. If you're a big cricket fan, let me know. Um, hey, I want to learn. You know, what I mean, I want to learn as many sports as I can. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, man. Let me know what videos you want me to react to, and I'll try. I'll try to check them out. I'll try. Let's check this out, man. And explains mm -hmm. the rules of cricket. Shout out to the me. The game I guess your team score more runs than the opposing team. Damn, teams he are hit that. Eleven players. He hit that hard. Substitute in case of injury. Okay. At the beginning of the game, a coin toss is used to determine who bats first. As, as most sports, puts all eleven players on the field, whilst the batting team will send out two batsmen. Batsmen always work in pairs, and a batsman cannot bat alone. Uh. A batsman's job is to score runs and defend their wickets. These wickets are three wooden stumps with two wooden bales resting on top of them. Okay. They try and hit the ball away from the wickets and run to their partner's crease. If a batsman hits the ball and both men safely run to the opposite crease, this scores one run. If the ball Huh. It is kind of confusing a bit, but I'm understanding it a bit. I'm understanding. Ball high, wide, or throws a no ball, which is an illegal bowl, this automatically scores one run. Uh... If a batsman hits the ball along the floor and it reaches the boundary, this scores four runs automatically without the batsman having to run. Huh. And if the batsman hits the ball in the air and it goes over the boundary, this scores six automatic runs. This is the highest Wait, so are, are the runs points? It gotta be points. Yeah, look at that. A hundred. Let me move my big head over. You can see that? 117 to two. Is that the score? That cannot be the score. That team must. If that is the score, that other team sucks. Maybe, I don't know. Scoring play in cricket. It's the job of the fielding team to get the batsman out of the game. The fielding team can designate specific players to bowl the ball towards the batsman. To bowl the ball, a ball must be bowled over arm and be within the channel of play. Ah. In cricket, there are 10 ways for a fielding team to get you out. Number one, bowled out. If the bowler bowls the ball and it hits the batsman's wickets and knocks over the bales, he's been bowled out. I like that. Damn, this is a combination of a lot of sports, man. Like, well, baseball, yeah, throwing it. Um, say I was gonna say bowling, where you just try to hit the pins, but nah, I don't think so. Yeah, bowled out. I, I guess so. Bowled out. You see that? I don't know, maybe. But that's interesting. So the the pitcher or this guy that, that throws the ball, he's really aiming for that guy to miss, and he's really aiming for for the, the three pins. And then the other person gets bowled out. Interesting. Okay. Number two, caught out. Caught if out. If the batsman hits the ball in the air and it's caught by a fielder, he's been caught out. Kind of, kind of like baseball. So, like, I, I'm not a big baseball fan, you know. Um, but I know if, if a player, you know, if uh, the batter, I think that's the position, hits it, and it gets caught by one of, yeah, it's an automatic uh, something. Yeah, he doesn't get a point or he doesn't get to run. Number three, run out. If the batsman runs for his partner's crease and the ball is thrown into the wickets before the batsman gets there, he's been run out. Ah. Number four, LBW. If the ball hits the batsman's leg and the umpire thinks that the ball would have hit the wickets if his leg wasn't in the way, he is ruled out by LBW, leg before wicket. Interesting. Number five, stumped out. If the batsman swings and misses the ball, the wicket keeper can catch the ball and push the ball into the wickets. If this happens before the batsman can return to the crease, he's been stumped out. Number six, hit wickets or accidental outs. On the rarest of occasions, a batsman can get himself out or his own partner out by accidentally hitting the wickets themselves. Oh. The other four ways to get out in cricket almost never happen in today's game. These include hitting the ball twice in one stroke, handling the ball, obstructing a fielding player. How do you hit the ball twice in one stroke? To take to the field. Mm. Once a batsman is out, he's replaced by the next batsman in the batting team's lineup. Once 10 players are out, the players switch sides so that the batsmen are now the fielders and vice versa. The highest run total after both sides have had their turn to bat. Damn, he hit that thing too hard. That's basically the game in a nutshell. It's but like a home run. Things you'll need to understand. A bowler must deliver six legal balls to a batsman. Once six legal balls have been played, this is known as an over. 
Once an over is complete, a new bowler will then try and get the other batsman out by bowling the ball from the other side. Interesting. Once teams have finished batting, this is known as an innings. The amount of overs and innings vary depending. Innings, kind of similar, again, kind of similar to baseball. Um, I know that there's innings. I might have to, you know what? I might have to do a video for baseball. I like try to learn baseball. Baseball explained because I've watched it. I know some of the rules. I mean, slightly because I hear about it, but I don't know how, you know, the scoring, scoring and yeah, but I, I need to, I probably have to do something like that in the future. If you want me to, let me cricket. know. Oh, good in catch. 20, 20 cricket. Each team is given 20 overs for one innings. This game generally lasts about three hours. Hey, oh cricket, no. Each team is given 40 or 50 overs for one innings. As the name implies, the game generally lasts about a day. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. How does a game last for a day? In test cricket, there are no limits for overs and the game theoretically ends when all batsmen are out and is usually played for two innings. This game can last anywhere up to five days and is the oldest and longest form of cricket. If you're new to cricket, I highly recommend watching the highlights of any Indian Premier League game to start out with. I might have to, I might if have to do that at some point. TV, they'll conveniently tell you how many runs have been scored, how many batsmen are out, and they'll even tell you what the other team scored and how many runs are required to win the game. Cricket may seem like a slow game, but as you watch or play it, the rules will become clear. Uh, if you found this video at all helpful, please yeah. comment, like, share, and subscribe. You know, I'm not gonna it lie. It takes ages to make one of these things. And I enjoyed this video, man. I really, really enjoyed this. If you're this. also on Reddit, feel free to discuss the video over there. But in the meantime, enjoy cricket. I enjoyed this video, man. Shout out to whoever made this video. I'll put the link to this so you can check this channel out. Um, I enjoyed this game. If you or the video, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys, and as always, peace.